welcome to my page. You're on my page, if you're catching this, called Tammy Loves, where I bring you, I'm Tammy, and I'm bringing you things that I love, and I hope that you will love them too. And tonight, I am working on a little project. Um, I, 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 <laughs> spit it out. <laughs> I've been when I'm in the living room in the evenings and we're watching TV, the fireplace is right there beside of the TV. And I did it all up for spring. I know a lot of you saw that. And it's been, you know, I when you're doing these um, online videos, you kind of have to be a little early. So it's been spring for a long time and I'm kind of bored with it. I'm kind of tired of it. And maybe it's because I'm home and looking at it all the time. It's just like, you know, it's the opposite end of the house from the kitchen. Like I, I'm always looking at the fireplace. So I started laying some things out and was going to redecorate it. And I realized I needed some old books. And I had sent all of the books that I had uh, done up because I'm doing kind of white and creamy kind of um kind of like hi diane hello kind of like the background you know i like everything neutrally and i think that's why i'm not loving my fireplace it's got a lot of yellow i did a lot of yellow in it my hair's in my face and anyway so um i sent all my books with beth who's going to be putting a lot of things online for me um for sale and and they were good ones and i'm like ah, i wish i had them back hi mary hi Hey Vicki, hello, from Ohio, I'm from Ohio too. So anyway, I'm gonna make some more just because Beth has all of mine and I can't run and get any because of the the circumstances and the virus and whatever, so I haven't left the house in like, uh, I think since the 16th, um, yeah, so <laughs> my car thinks I'm mad at it. I think it's just sitting out there like, oh, did you forget me? Hey, Lori. So I'm using Mod Podge, M-O-D, Mod Podge. So it's tempting to say Mod Podge, right? But yeah, it's Mod Podge. And so I'm gonna pour some out here. I'm just, I just always keep my, um, oh, you can't see. I always keep my meat trays um, for, um, just for paint and stuff to, work with I don't know why but that it just works great for paint mostly and for some reason I don't want to dip all the way down in here and for some reason I thought that might be easier to dip into that so now I've got I'm gonna take some books these are new books and and um, so okay let's go back let's let's jump back here real quick and talk about hi everybody we got quite a nice little crowd nobody's wanting to fix dinner tonight my actually my husband just went out to pick up pizza so I thought oh, I'm gonna do this really fast while he's gone <laughs> Columbia Station hello hello Kathy so anyway while I um, love to use books to decorate over the years I have collected a lot of antique books. I love the look of old leather books, um, old books with beautiful jackets. But before I started really getting into all of that, I would take, and this, I do this every time when I go to a client's house, one of the first, and anybody on here that I've been there, I don't, I don't, I think all of you guys are probably not local, but um, all of the people that I've decorated and done, the, for one of the first things I ask is, do you have, oh, somebody's asking me something or something. Let's see here. It's Tammy. Hi, Tammy. Aw, honey. You save your meat trays for crafting. Well, I hope you feel better. Yeah, you don't want to listen to me if you have a headache, girlfriend. <laughs> you, you better go. <laughs> you better go fast. <laughs> um, you could catch the replay. So anyway, but if you have books at home, like these are um, jacket. I hate. Oh, are they all Jackie Collins? <laughs> That's been a long time. I don't know if I have a date in there, but yeah, yeah. We all needed a little fire in our lives back in the day, right? <laughs> <laughs> she was awesome. I loved reading her books. So that's terrible. Now you all know about me, right? Um, but I also love Danielle Steele. Always loved her. But Jackie just had a little more fire, I guess we'd say. Anyway, um, so the first thing you want to do when you have old books, or when you have books, not old, but like hardback books that you're tired of, that you don't read anymore, or they're just sitting there in your bookcase. So take a look at your bookcases. And so these three books, look how nice they look together. I don't have them stacked quite right now, but um, I'm off subject. I'm totally off subject, but I'm giving you a little tip. This is, this is a good tip. So see how well they're not fighting each other. Like they're almost like a good backdrop, like, like for height, 
Um, I don't like the blue with the black, but it's what I got. So like, you know, if you have a bookshelf, you could easily, don't look at the blue, I wish that wasn't blue, but um, you know, set something up for height. Maybe you have three candlesticks, they're all the same size. Put one up on a book, maybe spin your book a little bit, put one on top, one right here, and then one on your table, and you've automatically staggered things, or with drawer, drawer or not drawers, what do I want to say? Not drawers. I don't even know what I was, somebody said something I was trying to read. I can't do two things at once. I can't do two things at once, I can't read. <laughs> but anyway, so you like my authors too. Thank you, Diane, that doesn't make me feel so bad. <laughs> kind of bad. <laughs> How's your daughter, is she hanging? Yes, she's good, she was on the other night. We're, we're still trying to figure out how to come on together. And um, so I just signed up for Zoom and have been messing around with the Zoom um, app um to where we can i can invite her and maybe her sister on and we can all come on and so i think that'll work but anyway so um you've seen them with the spine yep i have those right here um uh, but i like the old books like that but i have some here i'm going to do something with later so there's three books here that i ripped the spines off so we'll talk about that probably after i have pizza we'll come back on <laughs> so when he gets back I'll have to run because it's Wally's Pizza it's a local pizza and it's only good when it's fresh and hot because the crust is real crispy like super crispy and if you wait it, it softens it isn't so good so when when Randy comes in the door I'm gonna go okay so back to the books. so if you have a bookcase with books or if you have a box of books stashed in the basement and you need some home decor go get your books out take off the jackets Throw those jackets out. If you look, now sometimes the jacket, sometimes the jacket looks just like the spine of your book. But most of the time, I would say 85 or more percent of the time, the book is very pretty like this and the jackets are busy and crazy colors and stuff and you've got treasures hidden under those jackets, okay? So um, pull your jackets off and use your books in your decor. It's a great way to get some height. It's a great way to just add some interest and like especially the black, uh, most of the time it's black with silver or black with gold. These are actually silver. There you can see up close. I hate to show you <laughs> that I read those. But anyway, I didn't have any great antique books. Um, they're all being used and so I really just want neutral and I could totally paint these if I wanted to but it's not the look I want I want vintage so if you guys watch me and know I love all things vintage so and I'm seeing messages and you guys I uh, I'm gonna keep going I hate to I hate to not answer the messages but I I hate to lose you uh, let's see replying to Kathy I've been watching you're keeping busy. Okay, I didn't miss this. Where am I? I'm in Ohio, Tammy. Oh, you're talking to Wendy. Wendy. Oh, that's so nice. You guys are chatting. That's so nice. I love that. Okay, well, wait, here's some more. Oh, a little far away. <laughs> yes, it does cost some. I'll tell you what, I have been shipping. You girls have watched my bottle videos. I know so many of you watch my videos for years and um, always want to order this or that, but I have never had so many messages about all of my supplies. Like people are buying lace and buying my keys and buttons and just uh, little bits of jewelry and all my antique things. And I love it. I've probably, uh, I, I'm not quite to $800 worth of stuff <laughs> and you can't tell. I hate to tell my husband this, but you can't even tell that I took a scoop of anything out of this house. Not one thing. It looks just as full. I have so much. So if anybody needs any, any legit vintage crafting supplies, let me know. I'll, I'll hook you up. And I've been giving them more than what they've been ordering. So um, this one lady, she said, I need $20 worth of lace. And I think I gave her about $38 worth. I, I just have so much. I'm spread, I'm sharing. I'm sharing. So anyway, um, you two keep chatting. I'm going to get to work here. So I have two tubs. Let me put you down here. I have two drawers. They're actually drawers. And it just says old papers. Oops, on the fronts of the drawers. You're not that high. Old papers. And I, there are two. I got them sitting on my dining room chair. And what I'm going to do now is try and lay out the looks of my books. What I want them to look like. One thing I can tell you, oh, that light's really glaring. I got my big light on. Maybe I need that off or more amber. Let me see if I can amber that out. Ooh, whoa. Oh no, it just goes brighter. Okay, that's about all I can do. So, okay. So, um, the first thing you, that I always do when I'm working with these pages, 
Um, I have so many goodies, Tammy. I think you picked up some too, didn't you? Did I think you did. There were two different Tammies. I think you were one of them. Um, yeah, you were. I've sent you all kinds of stuff actually, haven't I? Um, yeah, so I appreciate that. Thanks for helping me out. You got some good stuff coming. I don't know if you've gotten any of it yet, but um, I hooked you up, girlfriend. I, I hooked everybody up. So I always rip around the edges, though, because I don't, I don't want that white. I mean, look at all this. I don't want that disrupting my pretty paper, see? So I always rip that up. I got a trash can in here now. I got smart. So, and then I also love, like, I've got all these little sheep. I do all kinds of crafting, so I have pieces, bits and pieces of things. But I love these little tiny, I've sent some of you guys wanted some old papers too. So I've, I know I've sent you guys just a combo of everything and it's just been great. I know I sold some bottles. I keep taking them off. I put a post on my page about the bottles that were for sale. Um, and not very many people saw it. Um, it shows me how many, like a hundred people, I think got to see them out of, what do I have? 11,000 people. <laughs> so, but so if you like the bottles that I did the other night, um, you might want to look back in my feed because I do have some things for sale. Oh, here is a different, um, color of sheet music. I love the sheet music. So I'm just ripping and I never throw anything away. So like, this is a half of a page of, oh, it's out of a woman's home, ladies home journal, an old ladies home journal. But anyway, I don't throw anything away because you never know when you need a little piece of something. Oh, I can't say I don't throw anything away, but obviously I keep a lot. Um, let me see here. Oh, there's, I don't want that in there. Um, let me see. Oh, here's a part of a map. No, what no, was it? Let me see. I thought I saw a map. Maybe I didn't. Oh yeah, I did. Here it is. Here's a piece of a map. That's pretty cool. I don't think I want the ads in this one, although I love that brown that dirty on the brown paper, that's cool, I want that. And I know you girls are thinking, throw that away, why would you want that? But I do, I do, I do. Okay, here's a receipt from 1915, $47 for, oh no, $400. I don't know if I wanna use that, but maybe, I might like it. Um, okay, oh, here's some handwriting. I love when I get the handwriting. This is a letter from 1942. I know you're gonna be sad that I'm ripping it up. I know, I know, I know. But if you saw how many I had, if you saw how many I have, thank you, Ginger. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for doing that. I appreciate you sprinkling. I have met so many new people because of all of you. And it's not been anything I've done. It's been all of you guys, I almost said the word, sprinkling for me. Looking for some more, maybe some more handwritten. I bought a guy out, out of Zanesville. He had a bunch of, um, actually, I live in Zanesville, and he had a bunch of Zanesville um, papers. So all of, the, all of the addresses are Zanesville. So I thought that would be cool when I make things that maybe some local people might want. Um, that's all the Elks. That's nothing great. Let's see. And then, oh gosh. And I have all my little tiny pieces that I've saved for, oh, here's some more handwriting. Loving on the handwriting, although I don't like the blue ink. Um, I know some of you guys are like, why didn't you have this all laid out? But I also know that almost everybody, oh, look. Oh, I thought it said Tammy. I think it says Tommy. How cute is that, 1941? Um, Anyway, they like to watch me dig and learn how my brain thinks. Oh, look, I just found an old book in there. It must be, is it a music book? Oh, yeah, it's a music book. I always treasure those because they're hard to, kind of hard to come by. Um, let me see. That's got green. I don't really know what I'm looking for. I'm just looking for anything that might float my boat. Oh, that's a pretty one. And they put the price tag. Look how pretty that was. And they put the price tag on the front cover. So when I took the price tag off, I ruined it. So... I've taken um, some of these pages now. They're like poems with floral. Um, and so I craft with those now that I ruined the book. That stinks. Um, okay, I'm just gonna take a couple of these pages just for neutral. I don't want everything busy. Um, I need some neutral. So I'm gonna go ahead and rip the edges off of a stack just since I'm ripping one, I might as well rip 10. Okay. And it's 
so I'm ripping that edge off ripping the edge off and then I have this sort of a straight well no I've already ripped this one I can see I've already ripped it so good okay let's get started so I'm never gonna read this book I'm sure I've pushed it around I can't tell you how long it's been here never even read it probably paid 25 bucks at Sam's Club for it <laughs> but you know, I decorated with it. I've used, I use my books for everything but reading, right? <laughs> so I've decorated with it and now it's time to change it up and make it look completely different. So I'm just going to put some, um, this is just Mod Podge and I'm just going to put some on the front cover. Like I said, when my husband comes with the pizza, I'm going to go. It's going to be time for dinner. <laughs> okay. All right, so bye-bye Jackie Collins, right? We're not we're not going to worry about her anymore. Okay, so I'll wrap that in a minute. Just getting it down good. And then <clears throat> I'm going to put some more over it. So you guys, this is stuff you guys can do if you're at home and if you have some Mod Podge. And if not, I know some people were saying that Amazon wasn't shipping anymore, but I've still been able to order, so... Check and see, um, maybe you will be still able to order. So I'm gonna, oh, I'm not gonna like that. Why did I do that? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, I'm gonna do this so it won't go closed. There we go. That wasn't, <laughs> wasn't very smart. I'm trying to hurry. I'm trying to hurry. I know I don't need to hurry, but still, you know, you guys don't wanna watch me smear that on all day. Okay, so I'm gonna wrap so that the edge isn't black, because that black edge will really show up if I just cut it. And another thing, let me just give you another little tip if you guys want. Whenever you're doing Mod Podge, and you, let's say you don't want to wrap it, and you do want that black edge, leave it flap like this one, like that. just leave it hang there, and then when it's dry, take your X-Acto knife, this is a wallpapering trick, take your X-Acto knife, and once it's dry, if you just slide it right along there, it'll just cut right off, and you'll have the cleanest edge. If you try cutting it wet while it's wet, it's gonna like rip and give and take, and so um, there you go, you got yourself a little tip along the way. So yeah, whenever you're doing anything like that, let it dry before you cut it. Um, otherwise, you could cut it straight and then lay it on there, but I don't, I don't want mine like that. So okay, let's lay, um, I'm gonna lay some words here. I'm overlapping, and I know from experience that you can't play a lot with the words. Now this paper's a little stiff, so. Uh, but you can't play a lot because the ink will uh, break down and move on you. So um, I'm going to go ahead and put a coat on and let it start drying. But yeah, you'll start spreading your ink. So if you're using ink, let me push this down just a bit more. Amazon has a warehouse and they're still delivering. Yeah, I'm still getting stuff. I feel like I'm ordering almost every day. <laughs> That's the problem with being home. Okay, I am going to leave part of that receipt square because I think that's kind of cool, but I'm going to rip off the edges are a little bit thick. Um, oh, it's just, that's the coolest paper. It's like, I think they used to call it onion paper. It's really cool. Okay, I'm going to put that here. I'll get that side in a minute, maybe when we come back. Um, whoops, and that needs to tap, go wrap under there just to snap wrap in just a snap. Okay, again, I'm using ink, so I gotta not play too much. And then I have this map, which is really cool, but I don't wanna lay the map on the words. Not sure you guys can see, um, but yeah, well, they're all words, I know that. I mean, the handwritten words are kinda busy. And so when I lay the map there, it's kinda busy, as opposed to laying the map on this more solid words makes the map pop. Does that make sense, I'm hoping? I'm hoping that makes sense. So even though we're all just, you know, pulling out neat things and laying them on, you still have to be mindful a little bit, okay? Um, so do I have, I don't have any sheet music on here yet, but boy, wouldn't that be. And see, that's another, that's still, that's fighting. It's okay, I'm gonna go for it though. I, I like that sheet music and I love to always put a little bit of sheet music um, on my projects when I'm mixing, uh, when I'm mixing the the theme, like if I'm not all doing just book page, well, I always mix everything, so what am I talking about? Don't listen to me, you just watch me. <laughs> uh, 
man. Oh, man. Okay. So I'm wrapping this around. I'm not really concerned what the inside of this, oh, my little letter is not laying down very well. I have to rip that to give it to release the bubble. There we go. I don't care what the inside of the book's gonna look like. Oh, you guys can't see. I don't care what the inside really looks like so much. Um, I just don't want that raw edge to show. Okay, so let's keep it rolling here. I can put. Oh, that's my map. I don't want to lose the map. I like the map. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit more neutral words in here just to. Um, Calm it down, it's a little busy. And let's see, I did start to smear right there where I was grabbing a hold of it. Just a little bit, that's right, I'll cover it. Um, I just don't wanna see any of the book. So um, if you guys happen to see me come back on, I'm not gonna be able to do it because my book's gonna be wet, so I'm not gonna be able to um, totally finish the books out for you guys. But I will come back on because I wanna show you what I'm gonna do with these that I ripped up and um, there was something else I was thinking I wanted to show you. I don't know what it was. I'm sure I'll think of it. Um, I'm sure I'll think of it. So, okay. So I'm just snipping in to release that corner so that I'll have a nice, um, I'll have a nice corner here. I think these books are going to look great on my mantle. Um, you won't even notice them really. They're going to work right in with my decor. Whoops, I need to wrap this one first. Make sure I got glue that high up. And then I'll wrap this one. And then I'll paint it. And then I'll wrap it back over on itself. Okay. There we go. And then I'm going to pinch that all down so I've got a nice corner. That could have been a mess, right? That could have been a mess, but there you go. Um, yeah, these, thank you. Thank you. These books um, I sent home with Beth. I sent a whole bunch of them home with her to get listed for online. Um, and they are beautiful. And I thought, that's exactly what I need is those books. And you know what? They've been in a box upstairs forever. And, um, of course what, two days after I send them home with her, I wish I had three of them. Like really, right? They've been up there forever. If you look back, you'll probably find the video where I was working on them. So <laughs> it never fails. You guys ever get rid of something and then regret it? I, can't, I have, I had a white blouse with little red. It had like a tic-tac-toe board and the ends of the tic-tac-toe board stuck up the little threads and they were li just little dots of red tic-tac-toe boards everywhere. But real, it sounds horrible and it sounds very busy, but it was such a sweet top and I hate that I gave that to Goodwill or whoever. I miss that shirt. <laughs> yeah, I do stuff like that all the time. Like, like these books that I'm making, not these books, but those books. Um, you guys remember my old books? Um, so many of you, I had a handful, not so many, but a handful of you jump in to learn how to do these books. But these books that I'm working on making like from cardboard, um, I've got the pages here trying to keep them clean. I've been punching the holes to get ready to sew them. I'm, I'm actually making books, like making, making books. And um, now where was I going? I don't even know what I was gonna say. Oh, brother, how many times have I done that on this video? How many times have I done that on this video? Seriously, oh my gosh. I don't even know what I was gonna say. You guys, if you remember what I was gonna talk about, I'll be happy to talk about it. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, man, yes, yes, and yes. You sold your house. Oh, you gave away old books. Oh, Leona, I'm probably up here buying them all. <laughs> You, you have too. Me too, Tammy. Okay, let me keep it rolling. Just, just checking in with you guys. Just checking in. Okay, so, <clears throat> so I about have the cover. Good. I'm not liking this receipt after all. I thought I was going to love it. I can see through it. Remember I told you the paper was kind of funny? Well, you can see through it there. Um, you can see the edge. So I'm going to cover that. I don't like it. That's too bad because that was a great treasure, but bye-bye. You don't work, you don't work. 
and it didn't work. So, oh, I love this too, but I don't like that with that. Okay, I better keep sticking with this. Oh, maybe I can use this. That's cool. I love those spots on that piece of paper. How many of you are cringing that I let that I use that with the spots? <laughs> so many people are like I don't get it. I don't get it, but but I yeah, my mom's one of them. I'm always throwing my mom under the bus <laughs> because she doesn't get my love of old rusty crusty. <laughs> she doesn't get it at all. She appreciates it for me, I always have to say, but she doesn't want it in her house. <laughs> she wouldn't want a crusty spotted up book. She would think it looked like someone set something on it that it wasn't supposed to. She wouldn't get the beauty of it. <laughs> Sorry, Mom, but it's true. <laughs> it's true. Okay, so I about have the cover of this one done. Just about. Oops, I gotta get underneath there. I gotta make sure. So I've got all these things flapping over here. Um, but I have just that little bit of an edge left, so I'm just gonna layer another piece, making sure that, oh, you guys can't see that. You love the age spots? Thanks, Ginger. Let's see if you guys can see. Um, yeah, you can see this is whiter than that, so all of the, even though it's just words on words, it's still adding depth and interest because it's a different um, color. I need to glue that a little better, okay. So yeah, thank you, nice. You guys are getting it. I got all the wood projects with the wax laying here. Oh, I'm covering up my, I'm covering up my good spots. I can't do that, I was just bragging about them. All right, let's turn you up here. Maybe I'll turn it this way just a little bit. There we go. Okay, I was just saying how much I love the spots and then I almost covered them up. Oh my gosh, okay. So yeah, all of the wax now is dry on those boards that I did with you guys not too long ago. The only issue is um, the wax, the keys aren't sticking very well to the wax. So I know I've shipped some of these out. Some of you guys watched the video of me making these things. And um, so everybody that I've shipped to is like, I'm like, do you have a hot glue gun? Because I can't promise. I'm just worried with the shipping people like banging stuff around that they're going to, um, you know, knock a key off or something. And I hate that, but I don't know how else to adhere it. I can't sew it on like I can. These books, we're sewing our stuff in my online group. We're sewing them on. So um, I don't have to worry about the buttons coming off in shipping, but this those things I was just experimenting I got a whole bunch of them I've got to figure out how to list them for you guys I'm selling them for um I had I started thinking $15 but I think I'm just gonna go $10 a piece I put little hangers on the back so you guys could make like the cutest um, wall collages I think out of these like the most interesting and when your friends would say where did you get that I want to get some they can't because we made them you can't send them to Hobby Lobby for this kind of stuff, right? So, okay, when you try to make your books close or whatever, you got a funny corner or whatever, just see where you need to release it with your scissors. Whoops, well, for Pete's sake, I just ripped that whole thing off. See where you need to release it with your scissors and then do that instead of forcing it and ripping it like I just did. Okay, I'm gonna save this piece though because it's good. Okay, I'm just pressing it down so that it will stay. There we go, okay, okay. And then I really wanna watch because as it dries, it's gonna wanna tighten up and lift out of this little crease. So I keep pressing, you guys probably see me keep pressing in there and that's why, because I wanna keep, I like that little dimension there. So there you go, I've got that much done. So, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do the side and then I'm gonna flip it over and do the back. I can still do the side with you guys. So we'll go ahead and do that. Get all this stuff in here. Okay, so we're gonna press these two down. There's another little crease here. So there's there there's no crease up there, just down here. All right, so I'm gonna make sure I'm in the creases and then I'm gonna fold this down as well. 
And if you have a page that's being really um, persnickety, it's not wanting to lay down because it's so thick, like, uh, what was it, this letter I think was really thick, um, maybe spritz it with a little water, might give it a little, um, a little pliability. I, I don't know if you wanna spritz the paper, not with ink on it, but like a book page, you could spritz it and really bend it around there. Um, it might be cool to throw something like that in there. That throws the whole thing off, doesn't it? Off in a good way. Okay, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna give it a nice top coat here. And then all of my edges are wrapped. Um, I don't know about down there, whoops. Okay, so I'm working here on my side. Let me make sure I'm good and wet for it. All right. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cut. This is really thin, it's not wrapped. So I'm gonna cut a straight line and I'm just going to fit that right there on the jacket top. Oh, I'm gonna rip it a little bit. It's a little too straight up there for me. Yeah, take a little hunk out of it. Okay, it won't do me good to take a hunk out here because it's the same thing, so. Worry about that. All right, and then um, and then I'm wrapping, and I can see I have this one little spot. I'm not sure you guys can see. Yeah, you can see it. I'm not going to cut that off. It won't fold under because it's hitting the sewing, the binding sewing. Um, I, I've tried a couple of times. Maybe it'll go. I don't know. If not, I'm going to wait till it dries, and it'll be nice and hard. And then I'll just cut the. Yes, I'm using Mod Podge. Yes, yes, Connie, thanks, Ginger. Yes, just Mod Podge, going right over these old pages. Um, let's see, am I dry enough? Yeah, so I'm gonna set it up there like that. And you just keep, you gotta keep layering because like where I'm wet down here where I don't have any pages, I'm not wet on the page I just laid down. So, that won't do me much good. Let's see, that's gonna be my top of my book. So we're gonna go this way. This says, stand up, stand up for Jesus. So the word Jesus will be on the top cover. I love that. Okay. All right. Okay, maybe some a different kind of music down here. Maybe it might be nice and get the whole thing. I'll just cut that off down there. Okay, so let's see if it's wet enough to wrap. Okay. It takes time to do these books, doesn't it? Like it's crazy how long it takes, but it does take a minute. Okay, so if I do that, I can leave my book up a little bit longer. I won't be able to wrap it, but I can at least leave the pages hang. And see if I can turn it here so you guys can see what I'm seeing. Get underneath here. So when I say leave them hang, I'll just do that around the edges of this part. So at least, at least the bulk of it can be drying. And then I'll do like this page and I'll stuff something like this in here just to keep it where I, cause I'll, when I wrap to cover this black edge right here, when I wrap it inside, I don't want it to stick down. Um, I mean, it could, it doesn't matter. I'm not gonna read this book. And I'm just making this for my fireplace. <laughs> so, but um, yeah, you, I mean, someday I'm gonna be tired of it and you guys will see it listed. Um, cause I re, I, I'm always changing my stuff around and getting rid of things and bringing in different things and making different things. So it's just a sickness. <laughs> it's a sickness that I have. I admit it. So, but you've got, so after my husband gets home with pizza and after we eat, I'm going to come back on and I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to do with this book. Um, it's gonna be amazing. It's, you're just gonna do it with one of them, not all three, just one, because um, I don't want them all to be matchy-matchy. Uh, see, that one's not been ripped yet, so I'm gonna go down in here in this pile that I, ooh, look at that one. I'm gonna save that one for the 
front of the next book. I don't want to waste a good one like that on the back. Okay, now I'm going to overlap onto this sheet that I just put down so I get it a little bit wet. There's a little spot that I've missed, so I'm just going to turn it a bit to catch that spot. Yeah, so the next video, if you happen to, like if you guys um, maybe follow me or, um, yeah, if you click the follow and then you hit that see first, you'll see when I come on. I don't know what time because I don't know, you know. I don't know what TV show we'll be into or whatever. I might need to finish, so I'm not going to say a time, but I will come back on tonight and I'm going to finish. I'm going to show you how I'm going to jazz this book up like to the max. Like it's you're going to crazy want to see it. Um, those of you that follow me all the time, you probably already know what I'm going to do. Um, oh, look, there's another map. Yay, I'll have a map for two. Um, but yeah, you'll want it. You guys won't want to miss it. I don't think if you're if you're crafty creative, you won't want to miss it. So okay, I'm ripping the edges. Oh, I always like to tell you what my. This is 1941 Sunday, September 14th. Oh, this is the one. This is Dear Tammy. That's so cute. Even though it's spelled not like my name is spelled. It's T A M M Y. But how cute is that? I need to keep that though. Put that on this book. See, so it'll have to go to the bottom. I know, don't you want to read it? <laughs> I have spent time reading sometimes. I'll get them and I read them. Oh man, some of them from the service. Oh my gosh, so funny. Oh, I have one that I couldn't even, I, I was doing a class actually and the guy was just ornery. He was talking to his buddies and he was, and he was saying, well, if you're in whatever country, I can't remember exactly what it was, but he says, be careful because you'll get the crabs. And he's like, I just cracked me up. I couldn't, I could not rip that book up. I thought that was hysterical. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like seriously, he did. He I don't know who he was writing to. I don't remember now. I still have the letter somewhere. <laughs> I couldn't cut it up. But yeah, I was having a class and one of the ladies in my class got the letter and she was sitting there reading it and we were all rolling and she's like, you can't cut this one up. <laughs> so, oh, funny. I hope that doesn't offend anybody. <laughs> it was funny, especially with, I had 21 ladies, you know, always had room for 21 people. I had 21 ladies in there. And, oh my gosh, can you imagine? I'm so embarrassing, but funny at the same time. Like, you didn't know that a laugh or cry. Oh, funny. Okay, so this is a dictionary instead of an actual book page. I know it's hard for you guys to see, but I'm I'm wet. It's too wet. So this is a dictionary. Uh, so the lettering is different. The pages, the color of the page is different. You'll be able to see when I get it on here. So, but let me rip the straight edges that we've cut. And that's not wet. Okay. So I'm going to re-wet. Okay. Isn't this book going to look awesome? I don't know why Jackie Collins doesn't have me do all of her book jackets. <laughs> like, seriously. It's beautiful. Okay. I don't even know if she still writes books. I don't read anymore. I used to have time to read all the time, but it's not that I don't have the time. It's that I'm I'm uh, watching YouTube things or Pinterest things or whatever. I have other interests now. So I'll read a book on an airplane. Um, so I like to fly southwest so that I don't have to sit with my husband so that I can read because he's a talker. And um, yeah, so... I, obviously I'm a talker, but you have to be a talker when you're doing these lives. They're not as fun when no one's talking. Uh-oh, I just heard the driveway alarm. He must be back. So I'm gonna have to run here in just a minute. I need something in here though to keep the... Okay. Okay, see the difference in the color? Can you... Yeah, you can see it. So... Okay, you guys are gonna love, I'm telling you, you're gonna, did I put, no. You're gonna love what I'm gonna do with this book. Not kidding. Like you're gonna wanna go do a book. Hope you don't have anything to do tomorrow because you're gonna wanna do a book if you happen to catch me. 
you stay in, well, not stay this time. I've got to come back. Uh, if you didn't hear that earlier, my husband's coming in with pizza. So I'm going to have to go because it's not just any pizza. It's, it's uh, local. It's called Wally's Pizza and it's really good. And it's best when it's fresh because the crust is really crispy. It's just different. It's so different. Some people don't like it, actually. Oh, that was the Lord's Prayer. How nice was that? Okay, I don't want to cover up that dear Tammy because I love that. Oh, whoops, I got another straight edge. I didn't. If I cut that, I didn't. I cut that awfully straight. How nice is that? I love this. This will be a great book. Someday when I'm tired of it, Tammy Walsh, you can have it, right? <laughs> we'll keep it between the Tammies. She's a new friend I found on, on here. Started watching. Yes, you've got to wait for part two. Give me maybe an hour. Um, but this book should be dry and done. I wasn't sure if I'd be able to get one done or not. But yeah, this book should be dry and done. At least done enough that I can show you what I want to show you. And um, you don't need to watch me Mod Podge anymore. I'll do the other two on my own. But... Oh, let's see, I think I'm going to use a piece of this really light music. Yeah, it fits perfect. Check that out. Okay, so let me uh, put some glue down here on this side. And once it's dry, you guys, if I'm missing anything or if you guys are like, you missed the spot, it's okay. Once it's dry, I can like fix it. <laughs> if I miss something or if I don't like something, I'll just plaster something else right on top of it. It's no big deal. So, oh, yep, that is him. So, okay. So, um, just perfect timing. I just finished my book. So, uh, I'm going to go have pizza and I'll be back. Um, and we'll, I'll show you what I want to show you with this book because it's beautiful. So, thanks for, oh, Tammy, you're still on here. Yeah, right. It's a good one. So, all right. I'll see you later. <laughs> Can you tell I love that pizza? I gotta go. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>